So we're here at Christmas time with the Wests. I've got some Insta Snow Powder here just at water. We've taken four scoops of uh, the snow powder stuff. You'll see it's very thin and or it's very fine. And we're gonna add, as the directions indicate, two ounces for every one scoop. So we've got eight ounces here, four scoops, pre-placed in this cup, and we're gonna add it. Maybe we can get closer and you can look into it. And amazing. Whoa! OMG. Okay, I think we're done. Now let's... Oh! And it looks and sort of acts like snow. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look how much that made! Cool. Contrary to the... It says it's non-toxic, but it certainly smells toxic. <laughs> okay, so some time has now passed. We initially took a small sample size and put it into the microwave for about three minutes, and we managed to get it to be granular again. So, when we reintroduced the water, we noticed that the size of the granules as snow weren't the same size as our initial um, product. So. What we're going to do now is figure out exactly what one quarter of this would be, because that would be one scoop of the initial source material that we purchased. So, the scoop that came with it, that is. Which we know we are supposed to add two tablespoons, no, sorry, two ounces of water to. So this way we can figure out if we're going to be able to dehydrate it again, and then, you know, rehydrate it so that it becomes useful again. So, in order to do that, obviously, this is kind of a strange cup to measure how much is in it. So we've got this box, which I measure, and is conveniently 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, making it one liter. So we're going to pour that into the box, like so. So now we're going to measure how high it is in the box. Oh, wrong side. Oh no, we're good. Um, and it's about 4.5 centimeters on average, I would say. Maybe closer to 5. 4.75 centimeters high. So we're going to do some math. We're going to divide it into a quarter. And then we're going to throw it into the microwave. And we'll come back. So we measured out, well, OK. So we knew that it was 425 milliliters worth of fake snow. So a quarter of that, which would be the one scoop that we were looking for, is going to be about 112.5. So I've measured out 112.5 milliliters of the substance, and now we're going to microwave it until we can get it um, as small as possible and dry, as dehydrated as possible. Now we know from the previous test that we didn't record that it actually takes quite a while to dehydrate the snow. So I'm going to put it in there for, I think, to start, probably four minutes, and then we'll, we'll come back to see what it looks like. Um, and just to, yeah, so we're going to do that. We'll be back in four minutes. So it's been about three minutes. We're going to, well, I mean, I guess it's been two minutes and 50 seconds. And we're going to remove it after three minutes because it seems to have significantly decreased in size, which we were expecting. So let's see what happens after three minutes earlier than expected. It's very hot. Maybe if you want to come closer. You can see that it's starting to dehydrate. So this is good. This is looking good for our our test. You can see the difference between that and... The... Oh, look! <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> I actually did look at that, though. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put it back in. Uh, I think we're going to put it in for longer than that. We're going to put it in for an additional two minutes. So, a total of five minutes. Get out of the microwave, and it's clear that it is completely dehydrated. It's kind of hot, but um, it is definitely completely dehydrated, and some of the grains are small, and others are, are sort of bigger and have clumped together, but you can break them up with, with the spoon. So we have the initial scoop that they provided with the, with the product, and I'm going to 
try to, it's really hot actually. Um, I'm just going to grab a rag. And, is that a sham wow? We're gonna put it all. It's actually so hot, it's going right through this. Okay. So there should be about one cup worth. And I would say that that's about right. Where's my stick? Whatever. So it looks like it's going to be about one spoon worth as we had hoped and suspected and calculated. So this, should, this is looking good to add our two ounces to see if we really can rehydrate it afterwards. So, there it is. So this is my two ounces worth of water. I'm going to add food coloring because it sounds like fun. i got some fun color here. And we'll do it in this jar because it's clearer. Alright, here we go. Rehydrate and turn back into snow. I would say that it looks like it is. Ooh. Seems to be stickier this time. But still effective, and now green. And there we have it. Looks like, oh yeah, it totally feels exactly the same. Let's compare it to our old stuff. That was white. Looks like the grain size is about the same. I would say that this is a reusable product. <laughs> and that's the end of our science fun with fake snow.